It is such a pleasure and an honor at the same damn time to have my man Spark Dog up in here. How's it going, man? Spark a lot. What's happening, man? I'm blessed, man. What's yeah. happening? Good to see you, man. Good to see y'all too, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Back in the building. Believe that. Here Believe at B106. That. Now, yeah. now, say for instance, like, you never been to Colleen. You never heard who Spark Dog is, because right. I'm sure it's a few people out there that haven't. Yeah, Just a yeah, few. Yeah, Maybe yeah, it's yeah. a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, break down who Spark Dog is. Spark Dog. Man, you know, I'm, I'm a kid from the country of Panama. You know, that's where I was born. You know, I'm representing. You know what I'm saying? And I got here due to the military. My pops was in the Army, you know. And, um, yeah, man, I'm a kid who um, just always had a passion for being an entertainer. And... Uh, I ended up hooking up with some high school homies Yeah, a few years ago. Um, big click by the name of Green City. Break, now, break that down for me, because I'm, of course, from Chicago. Okay. I do remember hearing that back in the day. Uh, maybe, what, about 10 years ago? Yeah, something like it, man. Something like that. Okay. Because yeah. I was on the air in Chicago, and, of course, I'm hearing music from all, all around. That, that does sound familiar, but refresh my memory what Green City is. man. How, how did that start? Like, talk to me about that. Uh, Green City was more like a, like a high school click. You know okay. what I'm saying? And once we got grown, you know, people really just took the music like super serious and mm -hmm. clicked up. And, you know, we put a project together that was called First You Get the Money. Okay. Somehow that project grew legs and made its way into Houston in the hands of Scarface. Aha. Uh -huh. Texas legend yes, from sir. the ghetto boy Scarface. Yes, sir. You know, and um, he ended up tracking us down and calling us like, yo, I want to sign y'all. Really? And that was really how I feel like, you know, we just really just really just put the city on the map back then so it was a group of y'all yeah definitely. how many how many man about six seven okay you know not just just the rappers gotcha green city as a whole you yeah. know it's like it's, it was a super super squad click you know every race you could think of from blacks whites okay samoans okay you know what i'm saying <laughs> like you know we ain't clean man you right. know, got a little bit of everything out here so right you know it's just a squad and just you know six or seven of really just took the music serious and you know Got that record deal. So tell me how that happened. Y'all got the record deal. Y'all had a song or two out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, tell me what happened with that. You know, Scarface, he had his own label at the time outside of rap a lot. Right. He had his own label called uh, Underground Railroad. Okay. And he had distribution through Fontana and Universal Records. Okay. So okay. we was going through, you know, Universal. Right. We got signed in like 07. Okay. Album came out in like 08. Okay. But I always had a vision. I never wanted the Green City situation to just be the beginning and end of my story. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like gotcha. I, I was doing music before I joined Green City. I actually was like one of the newest members of Green City. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when the album came out, I just kept working mm -hmm. and kept working because mm -hmm. I knew what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Spark a lot of records was birth. And uh, here we are right now. That is. Yeah. That is. Yeah. So, man, how long you... Over 10 years you've been in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's crazy. Describe your journey. Oh, man. I know that's a, a hard, kind of like a hard question, but describe your 10-year, 12-year journey in hip-hop. Um, I would say it probably started way before the Green City situation uh, just because I had left Colleen and I had moved to Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. And I'm getting a manager, and this manager just happened to be the same manager who had crime mob. Ooh. When Nuck if you buck was That was hot. back when it was hot too, right? And not only Crime Mob, <laughs> but he also had Lil Scrappy. Okay. So at the time, you know, I'm actually sleeping on Lil Scrappy's couch, you know, as a part of his G's up click. Like yes, I'm sir. A, I'm an original member of his click. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. And um, it just really was a situation where I felt like I'm a kid from out of town. Mm -hmm. I'm in the mix of this crunk era. Yeah. Back when, you know, if Lil John went on your beat. You weren't popping. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I really just felt like I can I could stay in this situation and just always be that kid that's down with Scrappy in the backfield, in the background, you know, that's from Texas. Or I can just take all the knowledge I soaked up from being around these people from the Scrappies to the Lil Johns to the Young Bloods, Crime Mob, all that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can just take everything I learned, bring my behind back home to Texas and get it on my own. Yeah. I came back home to Texas in like 05. Uh -huh. Me and Green City had a record deal in 07. Okay. So two years of being back home and we got it popping. Gotcha. Yeah. As I, so piggybacking on the question, you have your ups and your downs, you know what I'm saying? You had that time when you're hot and then you got that time when you know people ain't really checking for you, you know what I'm saying? You've yeah. been through the ups and the downs of it. You yeah, feel yeah, me? You yeah. know, when you was, uh, people weren't so necessarily checking for you, but now 
you got a great situation about to happen. Yeah, I definitely, or something like that. I definitely got a got a situation, man. I'm actually um, you know, speaking to that person, he actually just hit my line and said he tried to call, but oh, he tried. Okay, yeah, he that, couldn't may, get maybe that's him. We gotta put our headphones on that. If we, if we want, if we want to hear who's calling in right now, if, if we try and hear who's uh, calling in, uh, drama. What up? What up? What up? What up? That spark dog right here. What's happening? Hey, yeah, boy, you already know what time it is. Yes, sir. Drummer Boy, of course, from Drum Squad. He's produced all of the major hits you've heard. Put on for my city, Kanye Jeezy. Also, look at my dad, Migos. The list goes on and on and on. Tell him what else, man, you put down for him. Man, tell me everything. All my children, Gucci, man. You know what I mean? We just did the uh, No Love for uh, August Alcina, Nicki Minaj. Yes, sir. We just sir. did that new We Poppin'. Uh, NBA Young Boy featuring Birdman, you know. Definitely download the latest uh, Until Death Call My Name project by uh, NBA Young Boy. Okay, you out here. You're doing your thing. So so tell me about So I'm in here talking to Spark, and uh, he just broke down to me how he started the whole Green City movement, and we uh, were just about to talk about the fact, you know, we were just talking about how MC starts off, people are checking for you, and then, you know, you get that lull where ain't nobody really checking for you, and then you bounce back, you know, and you're a part of the bounce back. Absolutely, it ain't it ain't no other way. What what? How better is it to bounce back with somebody like me? Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. So don't let the people know what's going on, man. You got Spark Dog, we got Drummer Boy on the lines. Explain Drum the Squad big news. Drum Squad Records, DSR the label. Drum Squad Records, DSR the label. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on uh, Facebook, and all that. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's really like imagine Russell Simmons when he first started Def Jam. You know what I'm saying? Imagine Diddy when he first started Bad Boy. I feel like I'm the only young producer that's that's in, on an executive level that's starting a label independently, you know what I mean, from the ground up. You know what I mean? So who better to do it but me? All right. Now, you got Spark Dog on the team or, or, or what, man? What, what happened? What's going yeah, on with Spark that? Spark Dog Drum Squad, man. It's official. You know what I'm saying? We, we signed Q Monte out of Virginia. You know what I'm saying? We got probably about about uh, six or seven artists that we just signed in. You know, Spark Dog is 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 the lyrical side. You know, the yes, component sir. of our South. You know what I mean? They're really spitting. You know, we got the melody and the melodic tunes and whatnot too. But we got real bars. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And, and, and and you'll see the shift. Yeah. Going from kind of like having fun to tune music back to the 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 bars being included. You know what I mean? So, so what did you guys meet? What did you guys meet up? Uh, I think we linked up a couple times, just, you know what I'm saying, just via the web, internet. I've been watching what he's doing just on the, on the web and the internet. People talking about him, referral, word of mouth, things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? And then I would start seeing him. We linked up a couple times out here in Texas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Different, different uh, uh, you know, uh, like industry nights, so to speak. We just did a big industry night with Kiki out in H-Town. Some of everybody came out. So it, it's I, I'm always like, you know, preaching that if you really want to change your life, <clears throat> the artist that's really helping themselves, they come into these meet and greets. They come into these industry nights. They come in and shaking hands with guys like me and DJs and whatnot. You know what I mean? And we got to conversating. One thing led to another. TJ's DJs uh, was, was was speaking on them, you know what I'm saying, and, and speaking on his behalf. And we just made some, some magic happen. That is. Man, well, well uh, congratulations to your brother Spark. Hey, hey. So- so when you found out the news that they wanted to sign you, man, that drummer wanted to put you down, man, how did that make you feel? I mean, obviously, you know, a kid from a small city of Kalina, you know, has somebody, you know, of, of his stature reach out. Woo, know? that's huge, man. That's crazy. Yeah, so yeah. We finna go crazy, you know what I mean? That's what's up, man. So, uh, you know, we, we got paperwork and, and studio time and stuff we need to go through and go, go, you know, get in the studio and work and work. When can we expect... Uh, a project from you sometime next year. We're gonna we gonna go and try to get something out for the new year. Well, I mean, I plan on being in Atlanta like ASAP as soon as the ink you know dries on the paper. Yes, sir. Work, yes, know? sir. Um, as far as when it when it comes out, you know, that's that's on Big Homie. You know, All right. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna follow his lead with it. I'm gonna, so let, him, I'm gonna we, let him speak on that. We know you're gonna have some hot tracks, so. Oh, that's 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 the easy part. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, cool, drummer. We appreciate you, man. Thanks for for taking time out of your schedule to, uh, you know, just let Colleen know and everybody that's watching and, and paying attention to this that you, you know, you got a new signee and he's repping Colleen and and he's about to do some bigger things. Yes, sir. You already know it. All right, bro. Well, continued success to both of you, gentlemen, both of y'all. 
drummer boy. Of course, we're spinning this joints on the radio. You're going to hear something in the next five to ten minutes that this man has produced. And, of course, Spark Dog. Uh, man, you out here now, baby. Back, back, on, back on it. Let's Make him it. proud, man. Make him proud. Man, you know it, man. K-Town, stay down, man. You know I brought you some gifts, too, bro. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, you know, I came bearing gifts. What's, what you got for me over there? Come what on. you got for me? I mean, me? this is the official, you know, Team Spark a lot Drum Squad takeover. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes, it is. Yes, it know, is. We got to bless you in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know? I need an interlude on the album, man. Put me down. You know, I mean, first of all, you know, it's hot in Texas, so I had to bless you with the Team Spark a lot tap. My man, appreciate that. Good luck. For sure. All right. He you come know, bearing I mean, gifts, man. Call him. You know, Santa Sparka. You know, I stay fly, so I had to get bless Ooh. you with the, with the official T-shirt. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know what I mean? And uh, you got to top it off with the official dad hat. Right? Oh, yeah. That's great. I'm you know, I'm going to wear that when I hit the golf course. Now, let's, it's one size fit all for you. Okay. You see, I got a dome yeah, up here. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, you, you know, it's adjustable strap. Yes, you know, sir. We thought about all that. Yes, sir. And uh, I know Shorty work here. I, I know a Facebook name. Boss Lady. Boss Lady. Yes, yes. I didn't want to say to Brianna Washington. You yeah, know that's the saying? government. Yeah. The big boss lady, I got her the pink one too. She gonna enjoy that. So make sure you bless her game, man. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, that's how we rocking, man. Drummer boy, appreciate your time, man. Thanks a lot. We appreciate yes, you. Yes, sir. Spark a lot.